Hey guys, Has here at Shield Canine. Let's talk puppy socialization. So we got a couple of puppies out today and took them to Walmart. They've only ever been to the vet prior to this. This is a nine week old puppy that you're seeing here. You'll see here, I go into the carousel. I'm like, hey man, come in. And he's like, heck no, that looks scary. Then with the leash pressure, he comes in, I release the pressure and I praise him. And you see, he kind of opens up and I walk back out of the carousel. And then I step back in and say, hey, do you want to come back? And he's like, yeah, sure. Nothing bad happened. I got over that real quick. They've literally never seen any of this stuff. For me, I break socialization down into two things. I want my dogs to be exposed socially. I just want them to be in close proximity to those people and dogs and see how they react and ensure that they're neutralized to those things. The other is environmentally. So you'll see with the shopping cart, stairs, slippery floor, stuff like that. This one's having a little more tough time with the environment, a little more tough time on the leash. This is very common with young puppies. This is a seven week old puppy. So there's that to take into consideration. She might be completely different by the time she's nine, 10 weeks old. And I'm just showing her that we don't work about them we just go we just do things you can apply that to just about anything so I'm just constantly whenever the puppy moves forward into the leash pressure I always praise the puppy and then I pet the puppy I don't stand there begging and pleading I just move away from the puppy pressure release pressure and release and we just do that until the puppy starts moving forward with some puppies it's instant and with some puppies you gotta spend a week working on it I want my dogs to be completely neutralized to strange people and strange dogs that's what creates a dog that's reliable in public, a dog that's not overly concerned with other beings. I want my dog to only be concerned about me and my family. Again, this is a topic I feel like people just really overcomplicate it. Whenever their dog has a problem, they, oh, I didn't socialize my dog enough. It's like, no, either you're not training your dog properly or your dog isn't blessed with maybe the best genetics and these issues were going to come up regardless of how many times you threw your dog in the doggy daycare or the dog park. Believe me, your dog is not going to be any more or less friendly whether you have one or a hundred strangers pet it.